What's up, everybody? I am extremely excited for today's Wordle. Not only do we have an amazing challenge, thanks to Bagfaced, but the demo for tomorrow's Wordle, I think, is going to also be an amazing challenge. So let's go ahead and see if we can not only get the challenge, but add on to the 102-day streak. This, of course, is for Tuesday, January 9. Okay, so what is the... Stupid notifications. Okay, so what is the challenge for today? The challenge is to create an X pattern where within the X, you only have vowels. So for instance, my first row has to be vowel, three consonants in a row, and then a vowel. My next row will have C, uh, let's see, C, V, C, V, C. Then the third row will have to be C, C, V, C, C, and then it'll fan back outwards. You'll see how it works, guys. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. It is gonna be hard. I got it. I did solve it um, in the demo yesterday. Uh, but it didn't come without a little bit of cerebral pain. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, and by the way, we have to agree on one thing. I mentioned this uh, in the uh, description and in the uh, video yesterday. We're going to treat Y as a consonant, okay? So in any of those spaces where I put the C, if I need to test the Y, that's the only place I can put it. It's not going to count as a vowel. Okay, um, I think I'm going to start. Oh, I was giving this some thought. I was giving this some thought. So Alpha was pretty good, but you do repeat the A's. I think this might be a word. I think so. Let's try ochre. Yes, okay, great. Eh. I'm a little nervous now because we set ourselves up for a potential uh shoot for a potential ER trap. Uh actually, this is insane. Guys, this is absolutely insane. Some of you might call me an idiot. And some of you might claim to be uh, to claim that there could be a morsel of genius going on here. I'm going to test the word rarer. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to test the word rarer. Let me explain why I think it could be slightly ingenious. First, we're going to test to see if it's an ER trap. Second, I do believe it qualifies as a potential wordle answer. It could be the answer. S next, it satisfies the challenge. Notice that we're moving the vowels inward, so it goes uh, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. We're also checking for pretty much every location for the R. I mean, we're gonna be guaranteed to have our R located no matter what. Um, and we introduce an A. So, I mean, we might as well ask the time-honored question. By sheer happenstance, is the answer to today's wordle, the word, oh shoot, if it is rarer, I will fail the challenge because you have to complete that X pattern of vowels. But I'm willing to take the risk because I highly doubt that it would be rarer. Yeah, good, okay. Oh, but it is an ER trap, okay? Oh, ouch. Okay. Ouch. Ooh, the wrong, I picked the wrong day to pick a fight with Wordle. All right. So now the next um, row has to look like this. Sorry. Yep. See that? So the vowels are moving inward and there can only be one in the middle and then they'll fan back outward to get to guess five. Ouch. Oh, man. Well, we don't have to play in hard mode and we can absolutely, um, in fact, you can't play in hard mode. That would violate the challenge. And we absolutely must test um, some brand new letters here. Uh, blimp wouldn't be bad. Uh, blimp wouldn't be bad. Uh, ER traps tend to be more with, I think, uh, oh, we got rid of the, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I think blimp would be great. Those letters are all strong possibilities to create that um, incredibly annoying ER trap. So let's go with blimp and pray that we get one, maybe even two letters. Okay, we have a Four plus one on scramble. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. Um, in fact, let's quickly check to see what our answer could be. If it began with I, then it would have to look like this, right? If it began with I. Um, and I cannot see anything. Oh, I can. Idler. He's an idler. Oh, that's a good one. Ouch. Okay, so we could have idler. Hmm. And um, if it began with uh, L, then you could have liner. Uh, oh, have we had liver? Yeah, I think we've had liver. Okay, I think we can rule that out. And um, and we could have leader. So, so far we have idler and leader. Okay. And then what's the only other situation is it could look like this. And now you could have... Oh, shoot. You could have, I guess, Tyler, um, Filer, 
Tyler and Filer. Okay. Oh, that's a lot to consider. So in any case, our structure has to look like this. It has to obey the same structure as rarer. So we have to go consonant vowel, consonant vowel, consonant. Let's think about this. Um, what if I were to do something like, uh, huh? You know, it's funny. I mean, I, 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 I could technically put in liner, um, but that's not good because uh, if it were the answer, it would mess up the challenge. What if I were to do? Oh boy. Ah. Uh, I want to test something like L I. Uh, you know what? How about this? What if I were to do lights? That should work. Um, if the L I T lights up, I've got leader. Okay. Um, Uh, and if it, and if the li lights up, then I would have liner. And we also have to worry about. Uh, but then, if the i is yellow, then I'm pretty sure we would have idler. And um, I think that takes care of most of the ones that I talked about. So I'm going to go with lights. Okay, not bad. I think we have liner. Okay, I think we have liner. And I, you better believe I'm going to test that n. Uh, just in case, but I'm pretty sure we have had, um, I'm pretty sure that we have had uh, liver. Just double checking that there's nothing else I'm overlooking because we are sort of getting to the end of the runway here. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're really good. I'm pretty sure we're going to go with liner. So now we have to obey the original structure from ochre, and so we have to go... Um, <laughs> Uh, we have to go vowel, consonant, 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 vowel. And um, what should I do now? Uh, I want to just get that N in there for sure, just to be safe. Um, ah, shoot. There we go. Angle. Okay. That is the exact same structure. I'm just double checking, guys. Can you already see? That beautiful um, X pattern only filled with uh, vowels and everything else is a constant. We didn't even need to worry about the controversial Y. So we're going to go with angle. We're going to pray that that N is yellow. Yes, it is. And guys, guess what? We got this. The answer, of course, is going to be liner. Boom. Wow. A beautiful challenge. Thank you so much, Bag Faced. That was really, really great. And I think we handled it perfectly. And there's no way um, that we could have gotten it in five because that would violate the structure that's required. Um, uh, there you go. Wow. Um, wow. That was such a good, uh, such a good challenge, and we absolutely nailed it. I think we played. Um, I think we played it very, very well. And uh, blimp and lights, I think, ended up being really good guesses to get us out of those evil ER traps. And then. I think angle was really just a formality. I think I had the liner in guess five, but we want to do the challenge. That's the whole point. All right, guys, please join me so that I can do a live demonstration of tomorrow's Wordle challenge. And this one is super, super cool. All right, guys, this one is compliments, I believe. I do get these messed up sometimes, but I think I'm giving the proper credit to T. Clark, who said, uh, enter a four-word sentence. And then he added, if it's possible, well, guess what, T. Clark? I, it is possible. And I replied to you almost immediately, and I came up with every guess. Um, what was it? <laughs> every guess. Um, uh, let's just go. I think I'm pretty sure we're going to get this. Every Oh, every guess seems right. There you go. So every <laughs> guess seems, ooh, and then right. Okay. Now you do not have to use this four word sentence, but it has to be guys, an official sentence, meaning anybody looked at that would say, oh yeah, every guess seems right. Okay. It has to be a legitimate sentence that you could, you know, start in a 
uh, text and put a period at the end of it and everybody would understand it, okay? So every guess seems right. Uh, I could probably do a much stronger one and you better believe for tomorrow's live uh, challenge, I'm going to find a slightly better improved one. Uh, although, you know, that's not terrible, um, but we got to get rid of more letters than that. Okay, so we have the U and the E. This is going to be very hard to do. Um, every guess seems right. Ouch, there's probably some funny words that could be involved here. Um, we didn't even pin down the location for the E, which is slightly annoying. Um, it's not under. How about uncle? That seems like a really good guess. I mean, I think that's a brilliant guess because you're going to get the location for the E settled no matter what. You're introducing three amazing letters with NCL. And although U up front is maybe a slightly unusual location, I think it's not going to be last. We already know it's not second. So why not try it there? In fact, let's just ask, is the answer uncle? No, it's not. Okay. And we only have one guess left. And I feel that we might lose this because there's probably a lot of options. Um, shoot. I think we're looking maybe like this. It's not elude because the E was not first. How about fluke? Boom, we did it guys, okay? So use any four word combo sentence to your heart's desire. Please make sure that it's a legit sentence so that nobody will scratch their head and you know, kind of pick at you. It has to be legit. Every guess seems right. I think you'd agree. That's definitely a sentence. I'm going to improve upon that because that was a little bit nerve wracking, um, even though we did get it. Um, I think we need to improve upon that. But if you'd like to take the every guess seems right challenge, go for it. But trust me, guys, you can do even better than that. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for a very special Wordle Challenge edition with art.